Yo, did this just become my new favorite synth? Plug into the week, Cradle Audio, The Prince. This thing's gonna make it into your top 10, I guarantee it. Amazing. see when you open this plugin is a really cool kind of throwback feel reminds me of like a Korg you know something analog hybrid a little bit technical like expand 2 if you ever use Pro Tools and they're built-in synthesizer I'm gonna explain exactly what this thing does but first I'm just gonna play you some chords and I'm gonna mess around with it and show you guys just how much you can do with the sounds <laughs> Okay, so right away, I want to explain this synth and exactly what it is. Basically, you have two layers. All right, so they can be, you got layer A, layer B, right? You have a bunch of presets. They're broken down, pads, brass, plucks, keys, organs, leads. And then you got a user thing where you can save your presets. You could heart stuff, you know, you can come back to your favorites. You could save here, very simple. Everything's really simple about this plugin and why I really like it. Now let's get into exactly how it works and why this thing is so dope. First thing is, it's by Frank Dukes and Cradle Audio. So Frank Dukes, if you know anything about him, he's like trap king, you know? Like he's just so much R&B and modern pop, hip hop shit that's, I mean, his, his catalog's insane. And his sounds are insane. So what he's done is taken 130 different analog synths, and this is all in the marketing jargon, so, you know, I don't know if this is true or not, but took 130 analog synths, like this Moog, right? And he sampled all of those and then put them into this and designed this with Cradle Audio. I'm blown away by this thing. The biggest thing for me is staying inspired and just finding sounds really quickly. And I think that that's really, really important with a synth. You don't want to get bogged down in a bunch of details and too many things. So layer A, layer B, that's what you got. You can open up uh, the different programs by clicking on the names or you can just flip through them, right? You can see there's a ton of stuff, hollow breath, everything's kind of labeled weird, hell's bells. Uh, over here, I got a creep, I got a crunch lead, I got evolving brass, right, whatever. So then you have a blend here, a blend uh, fader that's going to go between the two layers. Awesome, love it. You can link them, you can unlink them, uh, and you can do them separate, right? And then in here, the colors are everything, right? So you can see that both colors are on poly right now. But if you turn off, uh, if you go over here, you can select, I want legato on the orange or yellow, whatever that is. Um, and I want poly to play on the blue side. And just look at the colors. That's, it's simple. Guides your eyes, shows you exactly what to do. So layer one, layer two, they're like samples off of an analog synth, which is really, really dope. I wish that I would have came up with this because I've thought about this a million times. How dope would it be to have a Prophet 5 and a Moog and, uh, you know, cross those and blend those? That's what this is. And if you like that, you should hit the thumbs up right now and drop a comment and ask any questions in the comments as well. You guys help me run this up. Share the show if you like it. That's really, really important to helping us grow the YouTube channel and keep bringing you a bunch of cool content like this. So I'm also gonna leave a link in the description here so you can grab this plugin. I'm not affiliated in any way. I just want you guys to get tapped in with this because the sounds are incredible and it's just a lot of fun to play with. All right, so 
here's what we got. We got the sounds, right? We got the blend knob. Awesome. Got the pads, brass, the plucks, the keys, all that stuff. Cool. Uh, you got a little thing here where you can literally just go through uh, different presets, like say valid tissue. Okay, cool. Let's hear it. Super fun, but the power in this plugin is not just with blending the sounds, it's being able to flip through the layers really quickly. So I'm gonna kind of play this uh, chord progression I got here. It's not, you know, that exciting, but whatever. And then I'm gonna show you what the LFO, the source here, the filter, and the amp can do. And then we'll get into the effects because this is really cool too. But this is what I'm having the most fun with is the LFO, the source, the filters are incredibly musical. Check it out. <laughs> All right, so we got a cool sound. I'm gonna start filtering it down a little bit so it's warmer, and then I'm gonna bring up these effects. Awesome part about the effects, you have noise, distortion, chorus, delay, and reverb. Really all you need. I don't wanna overcomplicate a plugin, and that's why I like this one, because it's just not complicated. Like, you go, you shoot, you click the plus, you get the, you know, one, two, three, four on the noises, you get distortion algorithms, all that. Turn it on, you can go through the noise, right? You got pink, white noise, all different noise types. Distortion, turn it on. You got distortion one, two, three, four. These are probably different fold back distortion, uh, tube distortion, tape distortion. I don't know, read the manual. That's not what this channel's about. I'm not gonna read the manual to you, okay? And then we got a uh, little chorusing. The chorus is amazing. It's very, very fun, very colorful and just goes crazy delay awesome you can sync it you can do times great everybody wants that feedback amount filter amount awesome reverb love reverb who doesn't love reverb make the size big dampen it which means you're not getting a bunch of splashy stuff on the top decay turn it up or down right you want a really long reverb turn it up bring it down size make it bigger make it smaller cool I'm not trying to like brag on this like yo you guys this is the best plugin ever I'm telling you like as a producer and a composer, I wanna be able to be inspired when I sit down. That's what Omnisphere did for me the first time I opened Omnisphere. That's what Serum does for EDM producers. That's what this does for composers, producers, beat makers. It just gets you going, and I love that. So check this out. Now I'm gonna start adding some effects.
I just screwed the whole thing up. Who cares, right? I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna click here. I'm gonna go to my user. I'm gonna go, bam, I like this one. Let's check. Enough said, right? You can write tra trap lines. You can write synth pop with this thing. I mean, some of the brass is just so dope. Like, I could just hear it on anything. Synth pop records, The Weeknd. Those are the styles, you know? Trap is obviously what um, Frank Dukes is known for. Trap, R&B, modern, trap, and R&B. So that's it. That's the plugin. I hope you guys dig it. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. I've been messing with this thing for a while. Also, pick it up in the comments. Why not? It's well worth it. I love these guys. I actually messed with and did a plug-in on the week on the God Particle from Jason Joshua and Cradle. I had never even heard of Cradle, and now I'm like obsessed with their plugins and just waiting for them to make a drum plugin. I'm like, where are the drums, man? Where are the drums? So you guys, let Cradle know we need some drums and share the show. Love you guys. Pow out.